Hi, if you are doing any sort of financial analysis or valuation exercise, or you just want to know about the company and look at its historical performance, for example, you would need data from the financial statements. In fact, the most reliable and most important input into our valuation and financial analysis exercises are the data from the financial statements. Okay, so how can we get those, those data? If you have subscription to Bloomberg, uh, Capital IQ, and so on, uh, it, it would be very easy to, to get those data in a very nice and structured way. But what if you do not have access to, to to those uh, terminals and databases. There are publicly available data that you can access. And here in this video, I'm gonna show you some of the most important ways you can access those. In other videos later on, we will go to further details on how you can download uh, and optimize these things, etc. Okay, so first let's, let's go to one of the most important uh, databases and sources you can get the publicly available data, which is only relevant for the companies listed in the US. And that is the SEC website. So you can go to sec.gov slash Edgar. So it's Edgar and there you get to the, the SAC website in the Edgar platform. Okay, so you can obviously also just Google uh, SEC Edgar and it will just take you to the same place. Okay, so now let's, let's go back again, sec.gov slash Edgar. So that brings me here to the filings and forms. And what you can do, you can then go to the search for company filings. You click on that and then you, you get to this page where you can just search by, for example, a company or fund name, a ticker symbol. So you can click on, on that one. This takes you to here where you can really look for, for the company you are after. So imagine I am looking after Facebook. Okay. I can just search the name or the symbol. So here it gives me Facebook. I go here and that's the page where all the filings are listed. You see 10Q, 8K, 10Q, 8K, etc. Okay, so these are all the publicly available filings and uh, you, you can search depending on you know, which kind of filing you, you are after. The, the most common filings and data is coming from the 10Q filings where these are the quarterly filings and 10K, which are the, the annual filings. Okay, so, so imagine I am looking at the 10K filing, which are the annual filings. So I can uh, search for 10K filings and uh, I can also uh, look at, you know, the based on the timing. And uh, then uh, this shows how many of them uh, is in the first page is gonna be, and then I can just click on search. That's what you, you see. So all these, these 10K filings from tw uh, 2013, where, you know, it's the first uh, 10K filings and then you see annually these are, are here. Obviously, if I wanted the, the quarterly filing, I would search for 10Q files and that gives me all the quarterly filings by Facebook. Okay, so now, yeah, let's go to the to one of the 10K filings so to see how we can get this data. There are two ways to get it. So first you can just go uh, obviously to the, let's say, go to the interactive data. Here, the nice thing is that if you go here, you can download everything through through Excel, for example. You can go to the financial statements, look at the consolidated balance sheet. So that's given 2018 and 19, you know, the, the assets, liabilities, etc. cetera. You, you can also see the statements of income. And if you want to download these things all in, in Excel, so there is, a tab here called view Excel document. So you can click on it. And if I just download this file, here you can see that, and I try to open it, and you will see that all these statements and 
together with all the notes etc it is in here so which which is very very nice way of having all the data uh, if you need uh, to have it in excel okay enable editing and now you see that's the cover page that is telling you what which document is it is the 10k the period is the end of uh, december 2019 etc there you can go to the next tab consolidated balance sheet you know all the information is given uh, and then uh, you can go you know check all the other this is the income statements and and so on and you can if if you go afterwards you can see you know revenue the definitions and you know what they are using earnings per share what are they how they compute it we compute earning per share of class a b this way and that way so cash and cash equivalents what are they these are all the notes that could be important uh, to know uh, and understand what the company is reporting anyways so that's that's the way way to get all all this data uh, sometimes you obviously you may need to read a little bit more uh, details about the company you know go to really the company filing itself here's given you the the document as well you can if you click on that that's the most recent annual filing you go here to this page where you see the 10k mentioned here and then you if you click on that one you will end up to this this page where is facebook is written that this is for fiscal year and the december 31st that's a 10k filing so that's the annual filing and everything uh, is in here you see uh, the all the different sections you can go to the details of each of them especially some of the important one uh, for the when you do your valuation the, is the management discussion and analysis of financial condition and results of operation that's that's very important section to take a look at then you have the 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 disclosure about market risk you have financial statement and supplementary data there or, is where you can find all this information about uh, the financial statements. Uh, let's, for example, look look at that one. If I go here, then I can go a bit further down, and that's where I can find the consolidated balance sheet. You see, it's 2018 and 19 is given to me, and then I can go further down. Statements of income, uh, etc. Okay, so that's the the statement of stock, stakeholder equity and then also the cash flow okay that's that's all all the things he's mentioned here so you can it's it's a very detailed with all the the footnotes everything is in here uh, you, you can obviously take a look and and get the data and necessary information from here and if you want to download it in fact you can go to to menu and uh, save it as a in fact a zip file for example if i save that one then i will get see the information here always where i can try uh, to open it later on if if i needed it so i can click on the html file and it opens uh, that file for me Okay. Obviously, you can also save it uh, by uh, via PDF, uh, where you just save the whole document in a PDF uh, file. There, it's going to be a bit hard, uh, usually, to to search afterwards uh, within the document because if I have the HTML document, it's easily I can uh, search for it. For example, I can search for uh, a cash flow. And I, I, I find cash flow here, cash flow there, there, there. In case the company is not listed in the US and you cannot have access to its filing through the SEC Edgar platform, you can try other ways. One of the easiest ways is to go to Yahoo Finance. Okay, so it's, uh, it's the finance.yahoo.com. And then you can search for the company you are, you are uh, after now whichever company you want you can try to see if you if it exists or not so now i i just want to try one company called tesla 
So here's the summary page is the first page that it shows you. It gives you a sort of a market cap for the company, a beta of the company, P ratio, the trading 12 months, the earnings per share. You have the volume that is traded, the bid ask spreads, etc. So that's that's give you the the overview of of the company. And then you can also take a quick look at the, the, the news. So this is the most recent news that Tesla gets a spot on S&P 500 and so on. So this is, uh, this is all, uh, all this sort of news that could be, uh, could be related uh, to, the, to the company. Then what you can do, uh, you can look at uh, other tabs in here that each of them is give you something. Uh, so here's, you get you get the information about the prices uh, there uh, on the statistics you get uh, overall valuation measures like uh, enterprise value trading p forward p uh, peg ratio prices these are the multiples that is computed but just you you need to note that these are not always reliable, I would say, because you just don't know the way that they compute it because these are the outcome variables. They are not the, the raw data. For example, if you look at uh, enterprise value, so there's a three, here I go, the footnotes, it says data drive from multiple sources or calculated by Yahoo Finance. Well, you know, how do they can compute it? We, we don't know exactly here. A market cap it says five shares outstanding is taken from the most recent filing uh, or annual report and market cap is calculated using shares outstanding so that's the way they compute the market cap it tells you these are the the, the valuation metrics etc okay so it gives you at least a sense of the general valuation metrics, uh, the shares outstanding usually, as you see here, uh, usually these are the most recent numbers and it's something that you can always use in in your valuation. These are the basic shares outstanding, not diluted ones, but these are usually the most updated ones that you, you can get. All the other metrics also revenue, revenue per share, cash, etc. Okay, so that's that's on the statistics parts where you can see on the historical data, you can get the data on the stock prices. You can here define the period you are after their historical prices and you can get a daily, weekly, monthly, and you can download this, this price data. And then if you go to profile, you get uh, the industry of the company's auto manufacturers and then how many employees they have, 48,000. And, uh, and then you get the, the company's uh, website, of course, and as well as the key executives. Elon Musk uh, is the co-founder, CEO, director, and others uh, that is listed here. Uh, importantly, you can go to financials and there you can get the income statement, uh, as you see here for the past years and the trailing 12 months data, the balance sheet uh, data, and the cash flow data. Then you can go to analysis. That's also something you would need uh, typically for sort of valuation exercises because these are giving you the, the analyst uh, estimates. Uh, uh, for example, this is the earnings estimates. The number of analysts is telling, you know, there's 16 analysts that they're giving these estimates for this, this current quarter. Their estimate is 0 0.70, 0 0.87. The, this is the average, but it goes from 0.46 as a low estimate to high of 1.16. And for the future, uh, also is given the revenue estimates, the earnings, these are the histories, the earnings per share trends and revisions. These are the growth estimates uh, that is that is given uh, to you. Uh, here's uh, the also analyst price tag that you see uh, is giving you the average is 349, uh, the current uh, price is 408, and the low of, they have the low of 40 per share as the price tag up to 774. You see, for example, the divergence of opinion across an analyst on valuing this company. So you should not be worried when you do your valuation and you come up with a much lower or much higher value. As you see, you know, these are the analysts that, uh, uh, that they get paid to do these things uh, and still they find you know, very huge uh, variation in their estimates 
because indeed the company is a company that has an uncertain future and there's disagreement uh, about it. For some companies, you see much more narrower window uh, of the analyst estimates. Okay, so overall, here's also showing you the, the recommendations and so on. There you can see the holders as well uh, of uh, how many insiders, you know, 20% of the shares are held by uh, insiders. Uh, so this is relatively high portion of shares are held by insiders. Then, you know, how much uh, institutional investors holding and these are the top institutional holders and top mutual fund holders uh, for the company you also get sort of a rating for for the company's esg factors the environment score is 2.8 social risk score you know it gives you all these things and also overall uh, it it tells you a score that is in 60th percentile of uh, esg the third way to get information about financial statements and the company's uh, uh, data is, is to go to the company's website. So now I want to try, for example, Unilever. And that's the company's website. And there's almost always you can find something like call investor relations or investors or something like that in the website you can go through that and almost always you find uh, the the publications and results and the financial statements uh, in in here uh, so sometimes you have to of course you know there's no standards way uh, but you need to look uh, results, for example, in here looks like uh, annual reports and accounts. So, so you see, it's either it could be it could be here or here. So let's say go to results and presentation, um, and then I go to result presentation. Well, here I get something like third quarter 2020 uh, climate action you know these are all the the sort of uh filings of the, uh, the company i go to let's say here quarterly results yeah so this is giving me second quarter and a half year result thursday 23rd july 2020 now i can get this information i go to q2 a full announcement or highlights yeah so this is the the full announcement you get there and uh, again you know this is for example the first half year results for 2020 and if you go down there so there's all the information uh, as you can see uh, see here that you can get uh, get the data okay the, this is the income statements for example uh, that is the statement of comprehensive income, that's the statement of changes in equity, that's the balance sheet, that's the cash flow statements, and so forth. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it.